long awaited day. It's been two and a half years since I bought the land with the intention to plant trees. And after the really big fires, we understood that, you know, it was a much bigger problem than we uh, sort of got involved in with regards to the amount of eucalyptus. And we've gone through this whole process of purchasing more land and actually clearing the whole area. We've cleared about uh, three and a half hectares of flat land from just a sort of Google Maps flat area. But in realistic terms, it's almost five to six hectares with all the terracing. And now it's time to plant the trees. I've, we've been collecting these acorns from around our land. You see, they're already starting to germinate and we've been collecting all the ingredients. And what we're going to do is we're going to recreate nature. We're going to give these the best fighting chance. We need to go through all the acorns. So these are the cork oak ones. And you'll see what you have is we've got a lot of ones that are germinating. And if we actually separate the ones that are already pre-germinating, then they've actually got a better chance of taking in the soil that we're going to be putting in. Um, these here, we're going to put in this mycorrhizal fungi solution. And that's going to give them the kickstart of all of these spores that are going to help with the root mass. Um, help with the root mass and help with the nutrient exchange from the roots. So you'll see you've got, you know, You've got acorns like this that aren't rooting yet, and you've got these ones. So we need to collect these ones. Now, what's really important is you don't damage these roots. So if you find any of these that are damaged or that are broken, then you know they're not actually going to create a decent, healthy taproot. So. Mm. Even the odd one that I see that's got just a small crack, yeah. I don't keep. I put it in there because it's got a chance of growing and helping the others that we throw on the ground. Yeah. What we're going to be doing is we're just fast forwarding the process of, of doing things. So we dig a little hole, yeah, so we can put some really, really nice high quality soil in the hole. So we just fill that up, yeah. yeah. Then we'll take the rooting and we dip it inside the mycorrhizal fungi. We put that on top. And then we sprinkle a little bit more soil on top, just a little. The acorn actually still would like to be visible. Then from that, someone else will come. Yeah, and we just drop a pile of mulch over the top and we just leave it there. day one. Um, we've been now on the hillside for three or four hours after sorting the seeds and we've put somewhere between 800 and a thousand seeds into the ground so far and we've done two and a half of the slopes between our terraces and yeah we're not quite halfway through so I am hoping by the end of day tomorrow that we will be have put somewhere in the region of 2,000 seeds oak and cork oak seeds into the ground and uh, allow mother nature to let them grow into their full glory so thank you for your time today all the volunteers who got involved, beautiful people who put their energy into helping us rewild our future and love and light guys, love and light.